let's learn about spanning trees and the minimum cost spanning tree. A spanning tree is a connected graph using all vertices in which there are no circuits. So let's say we had a graph like this. We've seen something like this before. Kind of has this triangle shape right there, but then there's something in the middle right here. There are many spanning trees that could occur here. We have to have it connected, right? Every vertex has to connect to every single other vertex, but there's no circuits and we have to use every vertex. So in a way, what we can do is start with all the same points and then create some connection. That works. Every vertex is connected to every other vertex in a way, has a path there, but there's no circuit. We can create another one here. Same points. But I can do this. That is another spanning tree of our graph. Hit every single vertex. Every vertex can get to each other, right? But there's no circuits. Let's do another one. We can even have it like this. All stemming from the middle. That's also another spanning tree. Every vertex is touched. We are connected. We can go to every other vertex. That's fine. But no circuit was created. And it's okay. This had a degree three right there at that point. Same here. That's totally fine. Now, what about the minimum cost spanning tree? Well, the minimum cost spanning tree is the spanning tree out of all the spanning trees we have with the smallest total edge weight. So we'd have some edge weights on here. Let's say we have a one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So we want to find the spanning tree that has the lowest total weight that hits every single edge. Well, if I were to do that, I would create a spanning tree. So we have all of our vertexes right here. And then I want to find a spanning tree that has the lowest edges. I'm looking at the graph here. I want to get the one, two, and threes. So we have the one, two, three. That's going to be the lowest here. One, two, and three. We have a spanning tree we've created. It's the minimum cost spanning tree. It's the lowest cost spanning tree on here. It has a total cost of one plus two plus three, which is six right there. So that would be our minimum cost spanning tree. It's a spanning tree that has the total lowest cost to it. All right. Well, now I hope you learned something here about spanning trees and minimum cost spanning trees. And as always, Thanks for watching.